All right. Good morning, Alter Realty Group agents. This is Kevin Lauren, the Director of Training and Marketing. And today we're going to go over Skyslope, um, file compliance, CDAs, just kind of set the expectation for everybody uh, so everybody knows exactly what to expect and how our files are uh, supervised and all that good stuff. So before I get into today's discussion, I want to bring on Bill Seitz, the uh, CEO for Clearview Mortgage. Good morning, Bill. How are you doing today? Good morning, Kevin. Doing great. Thank you. All right. So uh, before we get into today's discussion, is there anything that we need to know about in mortgage land? Uh, nothing that's new and exciting uh, other than just uh, it's kind status, of uh, status yeah, quo, huh? Status quo rates have been really good, actually. They've come down a, a fair bit, uh, just, you know, which is like all it's all relative. It's like, well, They've gone from the high twos to the mid twos or whatever, but um, <laughs> it's all it's all you know cheap money at this point. For sure. One one thing I'll just throw out is, I I am seeing certain people that haven't taken advantage of refinancing, and you know it's something that I think agents can really help their clients by just reaching out and just saying, hey, have you thought about refining? You know, just just a simple. Uh, a phone call, a simple, you know, text. Um, it's just something that, first of all, it's a reason to contact your clients. And I think it's something that you can help them out with if they haven't refied in a while and you know they haven't. Um, it's just a good suggestion. Well, there's a lot of different reasons to do it. Um, one is obviously cash flow, right? Uh, mm -hmm. um, you know, some people have the theory, well, I, you know, I'm 10 years into my loan. I don't want to reset it at 30 years or I don't want to go back into, uh, you know, a, a new you know, loan of, but there's other things to look at besides just resetting your loan. One, you have to look at, you know, how long you plan on living in the property. So if, you know, if you're not gonna, uh, you see yourself paying the mortgage off, um, why not get some relief? Um, if it's going to be turned into a rental property at some point, uh, having the lowest possible rate is a great idea. And also if you're looking to potentially buy a second investment or a property and you're, you have a lot of equity build up now is an incredible time uh to approach your clients and say hey it looks like you've got you know you know x amount uh, in your in your home um have you ever considered buying an investment property um right. you know because i'm doing a couple loans right now where you know as an investment uh, rates are in the low threes, which is just, I mean, it was just silly. It, you know, it's, it's all these properties now are becoming super cash flow. Yeah. And um, this gal that I have, she has three rental properties. I'm re refinancing all of them. And she's not worried about resetting the loans. She's all about the cash flow. Yeah. And her CPA was like, hey, that's your strategy, you know? And, it's, and, and it just depends. Everyone's different. But uh, for her to be saving, you know, hundreds of dollars on each, um, property, it means now they're bringing in a far greater cash flow monthly into their, you know what I mean? Uh, oh, so yeah. it, it, it does make sense for a number of reasons. For sure. No. So that's just a really good, you know, it's just good to have the discussion um, and just, you know, talk about possibilities and options for some of your clients, right? 100%, you know, if you're not talking about it, you ain't, <laughs> it's not going <laughs> to, it's not going to happen. That's right. <laughs> No, be the squeaky wheel, right? Yeah. Ask the questions. Good, good hey, call. We, hey, uh, we have a birthday today, don't we, Kevin? <laughs> we do. One of our, uh, one of the many awesome agents, uh, Charles Barnes. It's his birthday. I won't divulge his age. He told me yesterday, but I won't divulge it. He, I'll tell you this. He looks a lot younger than he is. <laughs> good on you, Charles. Ha yeah, happy birthday, Charles. And, yeah. and Ron, Rhonda Butler had one last week, so we'll give her a belated uh, happy birthday as well. Even though we did text her, we gave her, uh, we, we showed her some love, but <laughs> I'll do it here on the webinar. <laughs> right. Happy birthday, Rhonda. <laughs> and also we have a couple of new agents uh, with us today, which is always awesome. Andre Perez, welcome. All of our regulars are here. Welcome. Calvin Franklin, all of our guys. So always great to have everybody here. Um, and a uh, new agent, Wing Bautista. Hello, Wing. Um, and before we get further, I'm going to bring Travis on, corporate broker, Travis Breton. Uh, Travis, good morning. This is a big, uh, a good webinar for you to be involved in. Yeah, <laughs> how's it going? Doing? Good. Yeah. All, right. All right, perfect. So let's get into today's discussion. 
which is Skyslope file compliance and CDAs. So the first thing is, you know, everybody, um, once a month, I send out a reminder, a Skyslope reminder, and it basically has all of these links. These are links to the agent trainings, to Skyslope does uh, weekly trainings. They do live register, you know, you, you can uh, register for one of their live webinars. And so you can, you can do a lot of really good training with Skyslope. Um, also, I want you guys to always just, you know, it, when you're logged into Skyslope, there's a nice little icon in the upper right corner that says, you know, it's a person with, it's an icon with a person that's wearing a little, you know, headset. You click on that, that's the help. And you can instantly chat with their support. You can also call them. They have 24 seven support. So rather than contact somebody within ARG, we always recommend that you do your, your actual Skyslope training with the Skyslope help because they're much better. Um, and they're always available. So we always uh, recommend that, uh, especially in learning Skyslope at the beginning, definitely do their, their tutorials, their trainings. We also have, you know, a couple of different blue, uh, trainings on our YouTube channel. You can just go to our YouTube channel and do a search for Skyslope. So that's the way that we want you guys to learn Skyslope, interact with Skyslope. They have tons of great resources. So, um, Travis, anything to add there before we go further? Uh, no, just, you know, it's like going to the pros, you know, I mean, this is their system, right. so, you know, use, use their resources. They've got a ton of them for, you know, learning or getting unstuck with one little part. You know, they have tons of little tutorials and short videos, you know, some of them are like a minute long just to get you unstuck somewhere. But the chat yeah. is super, that's probably the best. Honestly, the chat is, is the easiest, just like in agent marketing, they're just, they're on it, you know, they, they are willing to help. And so really use that, that, uh, you know, that resource. Yeah. And I, I believe so they that, have some sort of philosophy that they, uh, you know, they want to get back to everybody in the chat within like 20 seconds or something. It's something crazy like that. And they, so yeah. they, they literally are like a very, uh, you know, a customer service organizing uh, organization. They're very, very customer service oriented. So, uh, Concierge. Yeah. yes, exactly. <laughs> so, um, so the whole thing with, with Skyslope and with, you know, getting our information into Skyslope and all of our RPAs and new listing agreements, um, is obviously file compliance. And so, um, as the brokerage, we need to be overseeing the files. And so, when you get an RPA or a new listing agreement, that's got to be uploaded into, you know, uh, within 72 hours of signing, that's got to be uploaded into Skyslope. And so, you know, we've had a few, you know, issues where um, agents are just waiting um, and it just, it doesn't help anybody. So the, the way that the flow works is you get a signed contract, create that, that uh, transaction, Make sure on the front side, take the time to fill out the escrow information and you know the other uh, brokerage information if, if if applicable, and so that way you're you're kind of you're you're setting yourself up for success down the line, and so you're, you're just making it really easy for yourself to get the you know the the file uh, overseen and completed. So Travis, any any uh, anything to add with with just the uh, the urgency of having that that contract uploaded within 72 hours. Um, well, it's it's really important. You know, we can't supervise a, a file properly if we. So, you know, we belong to a yeah. lot of MLSs. We don't log into every MLS every day to see who has a new listing or a new sale. Um, that's just too much of a pain on you know any company. So we do rely on, you know, the agents to, um, you know, put their their transactions in in a timely manner. Um, you know, if you get the listing, just go in, create your create your file. If you have a sale, create your file. And like Kevin said, um, doing the upfront things, it, it literally takes just a couple extra minutes to add the escrow information. You know, the the office and the contact. Same thing with uh, title. Add in the other agent, add in the other TC if there is one. You know, you want to add in all of the contacts. Um, for one, if you're managing your own file, it's really going to help you 
down the road, you know, because you'll have everything in one central location. You can email docs in and out from Skyslope. You can sign them in Skyslope and email them out. And all the contacts are right there. So it really makes it a lot easier rather than digging through notes or, you know, email threads or anything like that, trying to find what you need. So sure. uh, just a couple extra minutes up front will literally save you, you know, dozens or or more of minutes later down the road, maybe even hours, just depending. Yeah. So um, that, that's probably the biggest tip. Um, and when we go to do CDAs or anything like that, if the escrow information is in there, then we will happily also copy them in when we have this signed and it'll go straight over to them. So <laughs> exactly. Cutting out a step for you to forward it back over to escrow and find their information and so on and so forth. So, you know, it helps us as well um, if we have to track down a check or something like that, which happens from time to time. Mm -hmm. um, it's nice to have that information in there so we don't have to dig around and look through things uh, to try and find it or bug you. Um, so yeah, please, please, you know, put in the contact information when you open up the Skyslope file. Absolutely. And uh, Bill Seitz, I think you had a good point that you were, uh, that we were talking about the other day. What you have a yeah I know you have a good comment on this. Uh, I have several. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know I'll just reiterate what Travis said. You know, as a brokerage and a company, as a company, uh, basically having real estate agents working underneath our license, we have the, the obligation to supervise. And if you're not putting your files in in a timely fashion, it's impossible to supervise. We know that. And, and lately we've been getting checks from escrows and we go into the system and there's not a there's no file or there's it's we don't even, we can't even match the check to a file in the system and so that's a big problem and we as a company want to make sure that we're operating in compliance you as an agent want to operate in compliance so we're kind of doing an internal overhaul how to make this system better for and also transparent to you guys so you understand, okay, what is the expectation if I turn my file in, you know, this day, I know it'll be reviewed by this day. Um, and, and we understand it's a two-way street. So what we're going to do is we're going to clean and refine our internal mechanisms, relay them to you guys so you have a much clearer, uh, you know, framework on which to operate. But we live in a digital world. When I started this business, I'll show my age. Uh, you know, it was paper files and you had to freaking put the whole paper file together. It was, you know, <laughs> e e even back then the contract I think was only six, six pages. It's t was it 10 now. Uh, yeah. You know, you know, we had these huge paper files that you'd bring in and you'd, and you'd bring it into the gal, whoever, you know, whatever office you worked at and she'd have to, you know, manually go through it and, and sign off. And then you get your check, you know, days later. Well, now obviously everything's digital, digital, digitized. And, you know, every company is, more or less using some sort of digital framework or platform in our, in our case, it's Skyslope. So you do have to take the time to learn it. It's very easy. I mean, you know, you go in there and just start playing around with it a little bit and just navigating it. It's pretty, pretty user friendly. Um, and then if you have questions, go back and, and educate yourself through uh, the online chat of the, you know, their concierge service or whatever uh, Kevin, you know, basically recommended, but, we have to do those things. We live in a digital world. We have to understand what's going on. And also, you know, we've created this company, this platform to give the agent the best chance to be profitable, the best chance to get paid in a timely fashion. And we really, those are like some core philosophies that we really believe in. We, that's where we want you to get rewarded. We want you to make as much as you can. We work on very thin margins, but in saying that, you also have the responsibility to be professional on your end and get the paperwork in a timely fashion, operate in a, in a compliance minded mindset and do your part to allow us to do our part. So uh, we're gonna be doing some things internally. And I think we're kind of working through that this week that we will continue to, to refine and become more efficient at reviewing files and, and the process, but we need it to come from the agents as well. Absolutely. So, you know, um, what you can expect is, you know, if you have a completed file that's been uploaded into Skyslope, you know, our team will review that 
basically within 48 hours. Most of the time, it's going to be reviewed that day, but it could be, you know, on a weekend, typically Saturdays, you know, the files aren't being reviewed. Um, Sunday nights is, is generally a, a, a good time for the team, but generally within 48 hours is what you can expect. So if you've got your, your file complete, you've got it in there, that's what you can expect as an agent. Right, Travis? Yeah, that's generally, yes, within 48 hours, whatever you put in there is going to be reviewed and either picked back or approved. Right. right. So once that happens, of course, you're going to be looking for a CDA, right? So in order to help expedite your file, when you know that your file's complete, it's a good idea to send a heads up email to tc at altarealtygrp.com in order to, you know, just kind of put a flag out. Um, it, normally it'll get, you know, uh, reviewed anyway, but it's not a bad idea to just send that little reminder email, right, Travis? Yeah, that, if you want to be a little proactive and, you know, definitely get stuff over there um, to your to escrow, you know, timely so you can get paid timely. Um, sending, you know, the TC email uh, notification, hey, I'm closing tomorrow or, something like that, um, what we'll do is we'll draft up this, well, we're gonna review the file first, make sure that it's complete. And then if it is complete, then we can issue the CDA. Um, we'll send a draft to you, a draft CDA. And if everything looks good, then um, it will be sent over to me, I'll sign it. And if you have escrow information in your SkySo file, we will also copy escrow in, so they will get a copy. Um, and then that's about it. It's pretty seamless. If there is any revisions, just, you know, email back and say, oh, hey, I forgot to put, you know, a home warranty on there or something like that. Um, cause we don't, we don't know these extra things that you've done all the time if it's right. not noted in SkySlope. So, and we may over, oversee it too. So, you know, just say, oh yeah, I forgot to home warranty, pay it here, it's 400 bucks and then it'll get uh, revised and then sent out for signature. So it's pretty quick and easy, um, but um, you know, a day's heads up that you're closing will get the process moving forward much smoother. Absolutely. So you know, most of you guys should be using a TC. Um, you know, our, our, our commission structure is, is you know, low enough to where you guys, you know, you're keeping enough of your money um, putting out an extra 400 bucks for a TC is a great idea. It, it helps, first of all, there's another set of eyes on your stuff, and it helps alleviate you from having to do some of this, you know, quote unquote, extra paperwork and filing and so forth. So using a TC is a really good idea. We've got great in-house TCs that work for us. Uh, Josh Breton, um, Travis's son, has been working for, for us for a little while. We've also got Calvin Franklin up in the Bay Area. Is great. So either one of these guys are, are great in-house TCs that uh, you guys can utilize. Um, of course, all of their information is on our company directory, which is located in our agent resource center. And obviously, uh, when I put out this replay, I'll make sure that you guys have uh, access to both Josh and Calvin. And you know, of course, you're able to use your own seat, your own uh, you know TCs. A lot of you guys have TCs that you've been using for a while, but. Um, using an in-house TC is a great idea. You know, they're part of the organization. They they know our systems, so that's a really, uh, I would say, a good idea as well. Especially if you haven't been using a TC. So, uh, Josh Breton is great. Calvin Franklin is awesome. So, um, don't don't hesitate to utilize these guys. <laughs> and uh, Travis, anything else you want to add? I know is well, this will be a, a a bit of a short, uh, you know, webinar. It's a holiday week. I want everybody to get, get out there and enjoy the holiday. But is there any uh, anything that you'd like to add, Travis? Um, no, I guess the only other heads up, I guess. Um, so beginning of the year, uh, DRE announced that they were going to be doing uh, random audits uh, with brokers out there. And it's basically just, you know, it's not that there's a complaint or anything else that was flagged. They're just going to go into every office and see what's going on. So um, obviously when COVID uh, started, that kind of went out the door a little bit, but it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. Um, the office will get you know, an, an audit from the DRE and it's, it's not a big deal. 
Uh, we don't have one going on currently, but I do want to say that what they do is they take a look. They, they have a checklist that they go through, but they take a look at the life, their roster, and they say, okay, uh, randomly, these three agents right here, we want to see every file on them for the past three years. So um, obviously, if you haven't been here for three years, then we don't have three years of files. But um, if they go in and we, we provide them the, the, the file and the chain of events, and they start seeing that this agent is turning in everything at the end of the file or at the end of the transaction. Um, you know, they're not abiding to, you know, guidelines set forth by the DRE, then that becomes an issue for both of us as well. So that's just one other reason to make sure that you're getting your files at least turned into us within the 72 hours so that we can be compliant and also you can be compliant should your lucky number get drawn <laughs> when, when the audit comes. So, you know, it could, could be next month it could be three years from now but you know um, it's something that we're prepared for and it's just one more reason why we're, we're trying to streamline as well because we want to make it as easy as possible get them in and out the door as quickly as possible say hey here's all the files they're all great and uh you know go bug someone else <laughs> hopefully they can be along their way so <laughs> yeah so, but they do just you know they, they choose them at random they literally like you know this this one, this one, this one, and we need all the files. So that's that's how they do it. So you will also be audited if we get audited. Uh, three lucky realty group. <laughs> no, really good. Uh, thank yeah. you very much for that, Travis. That's a really good heads up. Yeah, there. so it's not just a brokerage thing. It's a DRE thing too, so. Yeah, yikes. So that's uh, a really good reason to keep everything very yeah. buttoned up and sky slope. Yep. All right. Well, great. You guys, thank you so much for being on the webinar. I know this is, you know, not anybody's favorite topic, but it's really important. Um, so again, have a great Thanksgiving. Be very safe out there. You know, I don't know how much traveling anybody's going to be doing this year, but uh, just be very safe. And we look forward to seeing you guys next week. All right. Bye-bye.